Hi everybody, this is Louisa from Alley Paper Studio and this is my final video on money saving tips and tricks for uh, when you're scrapbooking or doing any type of paper crafts. This is my craft room and I have a video already that has an overview of how I organized it and how I have everything um, kind of stashed in it. I'm just going to keep to this side of the room because this side is, has a big, big mess um, or it's not that huge of a mess, but it's definitely not the most organized. So you are wondering, how is this a money saving trick? Well, while organizing and putting together my craft room, there is one very important lesson I learned and it is that I have enough supplies and tools and stickers and cardstock and pattern paper and all kinds of, thing, of things and inks and ribbons and embellishments. It was incredible the amount of things that I found while organizing my room. Now in my home in Texas, I didn't have a dedicated room, which made it a little bit more difficult because I had everything confined to about an area that about that size. And now I have this entire room and I'm giving you a quick overview and I guess I'll go to the bad side because, oh well, you should see it. Um, but now that I do have this dedicated room, and with this I'm not telling you that the way to um, save money is that you need to make yourself a dedicated scrapbook room because I know that that is one, not possible for everybody, and two, it actually may end up costing a lot more money. But I will say this, if you try to organize your room or your closet or your corner or your desk, whatever it is, whatever kind of space you have to work with in your home and that's what you're using for scrapbooking, if you can organize that on a monthly basis and rearrange your things and re, re classify them, re, you know, just reorganize everything on a periodic basis and stick to it pretty well, you will find a lot of hidden gems. And you will find not only um, hidden tools that you had forgotten you had purchased, you will also find a lot of inspiration. There will be stickers and sheet collections and pattern papers and inks and ribbons that you ha will have forgotten about and when you reopen that room or that box or that drawer or that closet, whatever it is that you have to work with, when you reopen um, it, you're gonna find a lot of different things that you had forgotten about and that is all gonna come back to you in the form of inspiration. And really, that is a great way to save money. Now, I will admit, I have gone back to Michael's probably more than I should have um, since putting this room together, I wanted a few extra border punches, I wanted a few extra pattern papers, I wanted some more solid cardstock colors, I wanted a few more background stamps and um, buttons and embellishments and stickers. But at this point, um, I'm trying to make myself a promise of um, one, there is one more thing that I do want to get in incorporate into my stash and it's a, the fuse tool because I want to start doing some more some project life type of backgrounds um, and after I purchase that I'm going to try to make a promise and I hope I can stick to it of not going to Michael's other than or Michael's or Joanne's or Hobby Lobby any of the above only for things such as adhesives and um, blades for my cutter and that's pretty much it. I can imagine that like myself a lot of you have a lot of tools out there that um, you don't even need to get to any of these craft stores for months and you can still continue to craft. So this is my final um, tip for that. If you can rearrange everything on a monthly basis or however long however you can 
um, you will find all these gems and all these hidden treasures and you're going to be able to use them to their full extent um, and I highly highly recommend that you continue to craft with what you have available in your home because really it's a great hobby and you will be surprised at how much we, you can repurpose a tool um, while scrapbooking. So that's my final tip and I hope you enjoy this. I hope you don't think that the, the last tip is a letdown because it's not anything, none of these tricks or tips were anything um, groundbreaking. They're pretty, pretty normal things that you may already be doing. They're just things that I have found for myself to be a great help when you want to um, continue your hobby and not spend a fortune in, uh, while doing it. So I hope you enjoy this. Join me for more projects. I have a lot of fun projects on the works coming to you. Um, and thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you guys at a later time.